So we're at True Grit today, uh, my friend Luke Fulbrook here. He's training for, uh, you know Luke is anyway, he's, he was Ed's training partner up through World's Strongest Man. Uh, I used to join them on the sessions that I couldn't miss because I was in Manchester as well. So we've had a long training training history together anyway. Thought it'd be good to get a video in as well. Um, we're going to do a little mini series, aren't we? Yeah. So, uh, strongman session today. So, uh, Luke's got, what comp is it? Some... Uh, England's strongest old gift master. Yeah, yeah, masters of it, because what's that over? Over 40. I mean, I mean, I don't look over 40, obviously. Although, we look like brothers now, but like, <laughs> yeah. it's the same age, especially with the new hair. We're getting a strongman session today. Uh, Viking press, log press, yeah. and then some assistance work. Um, then we're going to do um, basically an episode where I beat the f out of him and do a bit of boxing and then just a general hypertrophy session. We're just starting off the log now. Uh, I'm going to get my excuses in straight away. Three things. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I don't do early mornings and I didn't go to bed till half past five. Uh, what's my other excuse? Yesterday was uh, a heavy boxing day and I also did off the body because I completely forgot I was doing this today. <laughs> About three or two. Yeah, five, whatever. But well, there's, there's my excuses. Do that generic thing that influencers do and people in the industry. like much but on this log very very hard uh, especially when you're half asleep and still waking up but basically the thinner the log the harder it is to clean usually you can't really pull it into your chest as well because I'm not really that chest um, it's also slippy as hell so it's rolling down the body a little bit but Luke's got a t-shirt on actually uh, that basically is made for that to avoid it slipping down it's nice and slippy um, I'm wearing a hoodie so uh, I'm also like pretty knackered. <laughs> Just getting them excuses rolling. But yeah, try and flip the switch now and get some weight up so. completely different than an axle or on a bar. Barbell can do a good, you know, 140 clean and press. Um, this, I think the most I've ever done is about 120. So I'm not gonna fake it and be like, I've never done it before. I, have. I used to train strongman and stuff like that. I tore my pet, just about to go into strongman comps. Um, and then you've got to think of people who've got world records on this. Um, I think Luke's got the British record. And then the world record is Iron Bibby, 230 kilo. So Ed just missed out on as well. Like when you think that that's a that's a weight that people most most people can't deadlift, yet alone on the else, it's insane. Especially putting it above your head. Bicep just on the log. Um, like I said, another excuse. The clean on that log was very, very hard because um, I obviously was egotistical and didn't think about it. Um, I just kept trying to push when I shouldn't have. 
everywhere. I've only got one pack and it's all my bicep and hamstring and nothing else, but um, still tried to get it and I'm still all right. There's the tendons attached to all that stuff, you can see. So just a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a ping in the muscle power. So there's no clean, obviously, for Viking press. The rules are pretty simple, it's pretty easy to do. You just don't have to double dip. Right. And how weird that a Viking is at the Viking press. It's a bit, we're, we're giving that, he's not Oh no, he's far from yeah. He's an incredibly strong human being, yeah. but considering it's like named but after he's just not as, not as strong as someone else. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, so yeah, no double dipping, because we're not um, And I basically, I, I should be able to get some weight up still. We're going to double dip comments again. No, I, I wonder if Larry Wills is any good at this. Um, he'll probably tear something off as well to close. So. Or his training partner. Yeah, because anyone who trains with Larry Wills basically gets decapitated. <laughs> um, although I probably look like I have already. Um, anyway, I'll go back to rubbing myself, and then Luke's going to do a set from what appears to be uh, one and a half foot off the floor. So it'd be a nice little clean for me. This is I'm basically going to have to do a front squat. Probably legs are sore as well. Do a front. Oh, bicep. Yeah, it's quite high up for me. I mean, low down. But yeah, we'll get started anyway. Okay, so it's comp time now. Give me a figure. 52. Realistic figure. 16. 16. Okay, so I'm gonna go for 16 reps. Okay, I am push pressing, like I mentioned before. Um, but yeah, let's go. So use straps and it's a good way of learning how to contract different parts of your body when you get injured. Uh, I'm not saying get injured, I'm big on injury prevention, but today my ego got the better of me and I just wanted to lift. Um, which I don't mind saying either, but because this is so sore, I can really try and use my lats to drive through the pull. to be honest on the bicep. Not an excuse that one actually isn't, so I've got to tell you on that. 15 reps, four sets, and then uh, onto the next exercise.
five kilo dumbbells. This might look ridiculous, but I'm actually struggling quite a lot with it. So it's good just to get the movement going again. Obviously the bicep's going to be inflamed at the moment, but it's not too bad. Ooh. Yeah, I've been here before. Been injured before. So that's how you come back from it. Yeah, so we're all done now. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> just in front of Ed's little tribute here at True Grit as well. This is actually one of my regular gyms to train at basically while I'm in Stoke. Um, obviously, I do my normal stuff with Ed as well, but I come here to do a bit of bodybuilding, a bit of hypertrophy work, that kind of stuff. Um, and I have a play around as well, to be honest. It's a great gym, great community here as well, and stuff like that. Tom's a top guy. Any bits of kit I've been trying to suggest to him and stuff like that, I've gone straight out and bought it and ordered it in for the gym. So it's building up to be an even better place than it was to begin with. Um, great place. So yeah, good session though. Um, despite obviously the bicep, it's mine. It's just a little little tear like usual. Atten's done it with strong man yeah, training. Yeah. It's like I mean, part and parcel of the sport. Yeah, good session anyway. Bicep's gone, but it is what it is. Strong man is a game of nursing injuries basically. Um, You'll find most of the top pros and stuff like that, not that I'm comparing myself to them at all because mine's more neglect and not recovering properly. Um, that's essential for your training all the time, so you need to focus on that. I'm being a hypocrite here, but learn from your own mistakes and other people's. So, but yeah, good session. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. so that's a strongman session. Why do we do this? Done so with, know, yeah. don't it's like that's a proper, <laughs> yeah, so hi guys. No, that's a strongman yeah. session done. Um, the next one will be in your domain. Yeah, do a bit of boxing. We'll be in the, we'll be in the boxing, so. Hopefully you'll be really more damaged than me that. next time. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> so yeah, Luke stay actually, tuned. Not to interrupt, Luke actually did a day in the life of uh, Eddie. Uh, did a bit of body work with me and a bit of pad work, didn't yeah. you? So check out that video as well on his channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, yeah. Nothing else? No, that's it. Yeah. Very cool. Like the video. Comment, comment. press yeah. the little blue bell. Do all of those things. Every single one really, really helps. And both myself and Pat are extremely grateful for every subscriber we get, every piece of interaction we get. Like, thanks. It's, it's really appreciated. Much appreciated. I say that way too much, but yeah. <laughs> much love and we'll see you soon.